All right, guys. I wanted to explain to you what percent composition is. A percentage usually means out of a hundred. Composition meaning what is it made up of. So anyway, uh, I want to give you an example. One that uh, you may have seen in class or may not have seen in class. Let's look at Cl2. Okay. Now this is carbon dioxide. Now remember how you did uh, the molar mass? You calculated it. It's kind of like you're doing the same thing at first. Uh, you make a uh, you make a grocery list, meaning you know you've got carbon, you know you've got oxygen, uh, you know that you've got one carbon atom, you know that you've got two oxygen atoms, you know that the molar mass of carbon on your periodic table sheet is 12.01, you know the molar mass of oxygen is 16.00. You do the math. 1 times 12.01 is 12.01. You know 2 times 16 is 32. And then you know that you will add these up. So we add them up and we get 44.01 grams. And that's for the full CL2. And this is the way you've always done um, molar mass. Well, percent composition is actually all this calculation with just a couple more steps. What you do is, is this. To figure out the percentage of carbon, what you will do is you will take this 12.01 number, because that's actually grams of carbon, and you'll write it down here, 12.01. Okay? and you're going to divide that by the total which was the 44.01 okay to get the percentage of oxygen you'll do the same thing you'll take the 32.00 and you'll divide that by 44.01 now just get you a calculator and punch these in you've got 12.01 divided by 44.01 and you get that it's this number here. Now I'm going to suggest going out to four decimals, four numbers behind the decimal. So this is 0 0.2729. Uh, okay, come down here and do this math. 32 divided by 44.01 and you'll get 0 0.7271. Now, you're almost done. All that you got to remember to do next is to swing your decimal. One, two places. One, two places. And then you get 27.29% carbon. Okay? On this one, you'll get 72.71% oxygen and that's how you calculate percent composition for the oxygen and percent composition on the carbon so you got the percentages of both carbon and oxygen here and make sure that these add up to a hundred if they do then you know you got it right and this is the basics behind percent composition